Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Every Sunday this time we check in with Lee Kitt. Lee, how you doing? New York City. Ben Green just checked in from New York City, and Mr. Rav Crawford is on the scene. How you doing, man? Fantastic. Um, I just heard Ben. Ralph Crawford, are you there? I'm here, Lee. All right. Happy New Year to you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. The same to you and your family. You are a signator of the network and a participant in the network. Yes. We want to formally thank you for all of your participation in 2008. And what we would like to do is to extend to you this question. Ralph Crawford, what can we do for you in 2009? Think about it and get back to me. I would definitely give that some thought. All right. Uh, we recorded all of your Power 106.9 FM segments last year, and we have put them up on YouTube. So if you'd like to hear them or see them, all you have to do is go to YouTube and put in your name and Power 106.9. All right, Lee, that sounds great. All right. Dr. Wright. Yes, 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 Lee. I'm loving you, man. Hit us. You know Ben Green because you just heard him on the radio. Yeah, taught Ben Green. Ben Green of Syracuse University fame. You guys were going to New York City and got rich and famous and pretty, man. <laughs> well, Ben Green and the Friends of Syracuse University want to remind us all that there will be a personal finance workshop this Thursday night at the Syracuse University Lubin House in New York City. Personal finances. Do you think some of our alumni want to know more about investing with a three-dimensional vision and the American dream stuff? Well, I tell you what, with the president that we have in office now, it's time to dance. Yes, yes, yes. Finance. And, of course, our country's got big financial problems right now, but I call them financial challenges. An opportunity will be knocking all over the place. Well, all SU friends and alumni are invited to hear alumnae Julia Echeverria of the class of 2003 on Thursday night at 6 to 8 p.m. at 11 East 61st Street, the Lubin House in New York City. All you have to do the RSVP at 212-826-0320. Again, that's 212-826-0320. Dr. Wright. Yes, hit us. Hit have us. You, have you seen the changes in the network's weekly news brief we fondly call Happy Friday? Oh, I love it, man. I'm looking for it every Friday, too, as I sit in my office in the <laughs> SI Newhouse School of Public Communications at Syracuse University, man, doing stuff. Well, look forward to more substantive changes during the course of uh, 2009 as we begin to focus on the business of Syracuse University and networking. Dr. Wright. Yes, Lee. Kit. Do you know of Wally Bobkowitz? Hey, brother, name about me again. Wally Bobkowitz. Hey, hit me real quick then. Wally is the president of the SU Alumni Oh, yes, the alumni. I saw him. He was on the mall at the, at the Capitol. I'm sorry, Wally. Dr. Rick Wright, I'm getting old, man. I saw your photograph. He was at the inauguration, and he was talking about Senator Joseph Biden, who is now Vice President Joe Biden, in being an SU alum. So we now have a Syracuse University alum as the Vice President of the United States of America in Vice President Joe Biden. Yes, I caught the bit. Man, I got so much going on behind the audio board and the studios of Power 106.9. I'm doing like five, six, seven things at one time. So, Wally... President of the SU Alumni Association. Yes, 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 Lee Hitney guy. Well, definitely. And recently, Wally was featured in Central New York's the News 10 Now, stating that we all at Syracuse University are so proud of Joe Biden. And Joe is the winner of the Syracuse University highest alumni honor. In addition, Wally spoke of the significance of the great number 44. Especially now. Do you know what 44 means? 44th president and a 44 number that re is retired and hangs in the rafters of the world-famous Carrier Dome, the great Syracuse University running backs, Jim Brown, the first African-American Heisman Trophy winner, Ernie Davis, and my main guy, who's a very dear friend of Vice President Joe Biden, Reuben Wright III's other adopted uncle, along with Mr. Raph Crawford, the great Floyd Little. Yes. Okay, Lee, hit me. Angela Morales-Patterson of the Syracuse University Office of Program Development 
wants to invite all New York metro area SU alum and friends to hear law professors Paula Johnson and Janice McDowell present their work in the investigation of the unsolved civil rights killing. Sounds interesting to you? Oh, definitely. This sounds interesting and historic, too. The kind of things we've got to talk about. Definitely. Well, save this date, Thursday, February the 9th, at Lubin House from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., and RSVP by February the 2nd by calling 866-706-1372. Again, 866-706-1372. Or email to pdevelop at syr.edu. Dr. Rick White and Ralph Crawford, this is Lee Kidd for the Network. Okay, Lee. Check you later, man. You take care. And uh, Mr. Crawford, he can get out of here now and go check on his lovely wife and his wife and all those McDonald's locations. Okay, Lee, we'll check you next week from New York City. Dr. Rick Wright, the love and testifying. All right, so get to all the Syracuse University alums throughout the world. Checking out Dr. Rick Wright, Power 106.9, Old School Sunday. On a big bad Sunday afternoon, Dr. Rick Wright live and well in Syracuse here at Power 106.9 Radio. Do it. The network reminds you that you too may call in to Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.